Hi, this is Robin Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. We are on P&O Pacific Encounter and we've got an inside cabin this time. It's 11316. Now this cabin is showing on the deck plan as a limited mobility cabin, not a full wheelchair access, but a limited mobility cabin. So I'm glad you're saying that. We're, so we're expecting there to be something like some handles or some bigger spaces in there. Uh, we didn't book this 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 room. This is what was allocated to mm. us. But actually, we're quite pleased that we've got it, so we can have a look round. And um, we've both got elderly parents who kind of need a stick and things like that. So we're interested to see whether yeah. or not um, this this would this is any different to any other Absolutely. inside cabin. Okay, let's go and have a look around. Okay, here we go. Let's go inside. I know this is a very small plus point in a room, but you do get a doorstop. And I actually love these doorstops because when you're um, moving your bags in and out, or when there's, um, you know, when you're coming in, it's great just to jam it under the door um, to move your stuff in. Not all ships give you a door jam. So it's, it's a really strange thing to be excited about, but there you go. <laughs> Wave your hands for so, that light. This is the annoying light bit. So all the um, all the cabins on p and have this light that goes off. So this is the light that leads you from this kind of corridor that goes to the main bedroom area. And this is your dressing area that leads off to your ensuite. So this is the wardrobe and the ensuite area. And the light goes off. I mean, it's all for an um, environmental reasons however it seems to go off after about five seconds and it doesn't give you enough time to do anything i think we timed it once at 12 seconds but uh, it feels like about two sometimes like time um and so you have to just kind of keep moving so yeah. well while we're down this end hey how about we start off okay let's start off with this end so as i say this is sort of the little little corridory bit here and you have this nice wardrobe here that has all the shelves this it doesn't look very wide um but it actually packs lots and lots of stuff in especially if you are cubers like us where everything goes into cubes whack them out of your case and in they go <laughs> um they have the standard little um safe here which doesn't it's not big enough to put kind of the, the crown jewels in but it's big enough for your um the all important car keys put your car keys in here although you don't need to keep them safe it's the place where they will be when you come to get off the ship and you are looking for them everywhere so obviously things like your passports and your driving license goes in here but car keys is the best place to put them and um, you'll also find here it's an open wardrobe which is great because um you're on here such a short time you don't really need to have everything behind a closed bit um, and my favorite coat hangers that actually come off the rail. So they're not those ones that are stuck on that you can't get anything on. And they are also the fabulous ones, the wooden ones with the little groove in. So you can you can put the, um, I don't know what you call them. Anyway, the little, the little hooks that you have on things. The dresses, yeah. To There's stop things hanging off. There's coat hangers down that side. What's that? Oh, and a hole heap down here as well. Yeah. Yep. Plenty, well plenty coat hangers. and a nice length so you don't have to bother with all that. Some of them have the very stubby wardrobes that you can only put mm. pants and, and shirts and things in. So huge. Well, we Love hang it. Our, our shoe carrier in here as well in the middle, don't we? We hang yeah. it sort of down from here. Um, and then close on either side. Yeah, I, I'm all, I always so. love this open plan because there's just plenty of space for everything. Um, we've got our cases here at the moment, but um, obviously there's plenty of space here for um, <laughs> <laughs> for your shoes and things if you don't have one of those hanging shoe carriers like we have. Yeah. On the top here, lots of nice space for your hats and you're going out in the day bags. This is a great place for those. And they give you your um, towels, pool towels, yeah. pool towels up here. Um, so when you finish with them, bring them back to your room and uh, ask the um, ask your 
cabin steward to um, change those over. Now, the cabin steward, when he introduced himself earlier on to us, um, did say they do a two service a day on this particular ship. So they do a morning clean and, uh, and make up and uh, an afternoon or evening turn down service as well. I know, that's lovely. That is really nice. Now, let's go into the ensuite. Um, okay, so this is, um, this is still, it's a bit of a squeeze actually for, um, it's sort of an adequate size, but a, a little bit of a squeeze for somebody maybe with limited mobility. I don't know. It's got all the extra handrails. Yeah, I was so just, I was really, just thinking that. Yeah. Um, I guess this is really what you, what you, you've been given and gosh, they're sturdy. They are. They really are. Um, so yep, yeah, just a standard size sort of en suite. Uh, Plenty of room here for for your bits and pieces. Actually, I'd say it seems a little bit small, but probably you've got enough space down the bottom there. Um, yeah, and well. again, we're sort of we we put everything in cubes and bags, um, so it's easy enough to put everything down there. Probably enough space. It's a while since we've been on this ship, but I think it is just a. It just seems standard. a tad. Just we've been on the Lumi Nose over the last few cruises, and that's a that's quite a bit bigger cabins. On yeah. That. Okay. But there are um, there's lots of these on the back of the door. Oh, we've so, got a lower one there as well. Yes. So if you have those um, uh, what do you call them? Those kind of toiletry bags that open up and hang up, they'd be they'd be great on there. Mm. Now, I have to tell you, I have looked behind this curtain previously, but Robert hasn't. So. He's in for the surprise of the shower unveiling. Well, I am expecting some grab handles in there or maybe a seat, but... Um... Oh, well, ta-da! Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we've got okay. two grab handles, but it's like a, there we go, and a seat. It's I'll huge, see if I can get back a little it? bit here then. It is a big seat. It's massive. Let's see how would this work then. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. Look, I'm struggling to get it on the camera. <laughs> Might have to let's see if I can get over in this corner. So let's see, would this actually work? So the shower <laughs> So the shower here is on a fixed head. So it's not on a bar. You can't really move it up and down. So you couldn't okay. move it any further down, to you? So I'm gonna have to try this. I might try it with actually with a, with a bathing costume on so that maybe we can video it, just to see whether or not that would actually reach somebody sitting here, whether you could wash your hair and actually get washed here. I don't know. Um, yeah, the, 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 you're here. right, I think. The, um, the straight has to come out quite a, well, give it a go. Yeah, give we're, it a go gonna, we're go. gonna try it. But um, the way that folds up, that's not, it's not gonna be in our way. However, I have to just say, look, there's nothing holding that in at all. And I kind of fear that if I was standing here having a shower, that that, if we, if we had a bit of a bump, that could fall on me. I think we might just put it down at night. Just it'd save it sort of falling down in the middle of the night and frighten the life out of us. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm thinking if this was a bit rocky, and I was actually having a shower in here. That that could that could easily. Anyway, I don't know if anyway. anybody's had that experience and this has kind of fallen on them. Let us know in the comments below because, um, you know, if I was about eighty or ninety, I think that would give me quite a bit of a hefty bump. Mm. However. For a limited mobility cabin, that is really useful. To it be able is to really sit down useful, and, and these grab handles. And the grab handles, are, are, yeah. Are yeah. Let me move out of the here now, okay. and then you can carry on with So it's that. saying we've got um, shampoo and conditioner. Let's have a look. Shampoo, conditioner, oh, and a body wash. Yeah, so I'm gonna work. just do this. That's kind of you clear. And yeah, it, it's the same stuff. So it's the same in both. It's completely, it's completely uncentered. So I'll try that out and let you know, but it's completely uncentered. So I actually think that's probably gonna be very, very mild. It feels very mild on my hands. So that's probably gonna be okay for um, hair and body. Um, and whilst I'm washing that off, I can also now do the towel test. So we've got, um, Mm, they've, they've been a little bit mean on the towels. I'm going to have to ask for some towels. Yeah, you can always ask for more so, towels. So they've given us one little hand towel. 
That's really nice. Nice and fluffy. But they have only given us one towel each for a bath towel. So let's see the size of that. Okay, that's it's not bad. That's kind of not a bad yeah, size. That's a good size. But it's not it is a nice, that's a nice soft towel. Nice and fluffy. Um so I think we just we just need an extra one for um it's the hair that's that's why i needed just to wrap around the hair so the rest of it yep yeah, seems okay we've got the shower um not the shower the shaver, shaver point i noticed they put another shaver point in lower down um that'll be easier if you are sitting maybe on the toilet I, seat yes so the, yes the cable doesn't need to stretch as far for that yes yeah. so that's what they've thought of they've put an extra one there and they've put this lower down lower. As, you, as you noticed yeah. before Okay, there's okay. your bathroom. So that one's uh, that one seems pretty well fitted out for mm. limited mobility. Um, if you have limited mobility and you think there's something else that they need, please let us know. Send us a comment, send us a note, um, and we will feed it back. Um, yeah, it's it's difficult for us to gauge whether that would be suitable for somebody who did have a limited mobility. Yeah. But it, it seems to be seems to be pretty good. Okay. Now this way here we have the full length mirror. Oh. Oh, this is fabulous. This is nice and wide and it certainly does get the full length so you can make sure that your shoes are matching your outfit or that you've actually got the right shoes on. And their shoes match. Let's move out of the way. It's annoying <laughs> light. Okay, now, the main cabin. This, so this is an in, inside cabin and um, it's getting the temperature right for me. I always think is is quite difficult. In in fact, in all cabins, it's getting the air conditioning right. This is a really nice temperature at the moment, and I have checked this, and we are on the coldest. Mm. So we're on the coldest it will go, and this is a pleasant pleasant temperature. I'd say it's not yeah. not too cold, but that is on the coldest. I think what they've done here, if we have a look here, this patch over the, uh, I think that's where I seem to recall the. Um, the controls were higher up and, and they've moved that control lower mm. down. Again, probably another um, adjustment that they've made to make this into a limited mobility. I can't really see too much else just quickly looking around here that no. they've done in here, but um, we'll see how we go as we look around. Okay, so um, covered space, uh, um, yeah, covered space within the main area here is down to the two bedside cabinets here. Uh, these are a pretty bit of decent size actually you would would be able to get something like your underwear or whatever in in there you know um we've got on the side here we've got the lamp with um usb port i'm not sure whether that's on both sides yes the side? yeah so both sides um this is great so this is where you can obviously recharge your phone or your watch or whatever kind of gadgetry you've got and have it close by for the alarm in the morning yeah. alarm we're on holiday robert we shouldn't have alarm we're only on a three-day holiday I we know. need to get a bit because the most we're of inside it. <laughs> we'll never know whether it's well, day true. or night so we definitely do need the alarm yes <laughs> Uh, this gives these the illusion, I guess, of space uh, and to make it bigger than what it is. Yeah, and that's this huge mirror on the back that then faces the mirror here on your dressing table. So look, we have an infinity room. Our room just goes on forever, mm -hmm. as far as you can see. But that does give that feeling it of It does space. make you feel a lot bigger, doesn't it? Because it's not a very big cabin. So. If you've watched our previous um, some of our previous videos, you will have seen that on an indoor cabin, we do recommend that you put up one of the big um, tapestries that has um, like a false window or um, a sea view. I forgot it this time. I actually forgot we were on it inside and I saw it this morning and actually took it out of the case because we always leave things in our case from previous trips. I took it out, so I'm quite disappointed that I didn't put that in. Um, now while you're there, the bed, when we first arrived, this was in two single beds and, and quite easy what they do or simply what they do is as a bed goes up to this wall, as a bed goes up to that wall and the two cabinets go in the middle. I'm not sure whether we've got any footage of that when we first arrived. If we did, I'll, I'll pop it in somewhere yes. to, uh, to show you what that looks like as a twin setup. Okay, so here is the old kind of dressing table. Um, 
Okay, so we've just got the bin, nice chair with a back to it. Sometimes you only get stools, which I'm not too keen on because I do forget when I'm sitting down and I've kind of gone over the back of some of those stools sometimes. Um, another three sets of drawers here. Pretty decent size and quite deep. Um, I've already put some bits and pieces in here just to tidy up before we took this footage, but um, there's, there's nothing in there to clutter them. And then these little end bits here. Now these are great for things like your sun creams and you just grab it and go bags and um, snacks. If you like me and you like your extra snacks, that's where I put them, easy access. Um, <laughs> This is, this is a pretty good size here for your, for your desk. Of course, for most people these days, this is no longer a dressing table. This is the area that you put all your electronics that you need to recharge. So let's see what sort of um, sockets we've got here. So uh, two Australian. And are they America? Are they America? Yeah, they're US. They're the US ones there. Yeah. So we've got two there, two there. Yeah. Um, the Australian ones, of course, are 240 volts, and the American ones, 110 volts. Mm. Um, but they're fine for charging things, for example, or anything that doesn't really have a motor in it, it'll just do it slower. We do always put in our electronics bag. We have a few of the kits that will sort of change, um, what do you call them? The, 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 plugs that change yeah, into anything, the adapters. Um, and we also always bring the um, uh, the multi-point where you can put in lots and lots of your rechargers for your phones the USB, and yeah. the USB, the USB port. So we've got one of those that has about 10 on it uh, because you're always limited. But I would actually say this is a decent size for you to be able to actually have it as a dressing table and have all your junk um, and your electronics over this side, but we'll see how we go with that. Um, telephone tells me I can get, it's pre-programmed with guest services, dining reservations, um, in-room dining, a wake-up call, and if there's a message waiting, oh, and housekeeping. So it's pre-programmed in for you to get those. Um, people don't tend to, to use the phone anymore, but actually I use it quite, quite often. Um, for things like, please bring me some extra towels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They've got the, um, what would have been originally, I guess, the kind of the little drink station here. And we've just got our cup of water, which is buy five, get one free. So there's nothing complimentary in this room. This is, this is quite the basic room. And the little fridge in here which first thing we did was put in some beers <laughs> a uh -huh. few hours ago when we very first came in. I have checked those and they're cold. What do you think? I'm going to do the old cold uh -huh. on the face. Oh go. yeah, that's cold. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. But it's cold because we've left this outer door open as we've said many times and, and people are, I'm seeing it all over social media now, people are, are realizing that that's, um, that's the way to go. Leave this door open and your fridge will be cooler. Yes, yes. <laughs> and now, in this cabin as well, because it's up against the wall, it's so easy to do. Yeah, you're not um, chopping your legs off, are mm. you there? TV is, I <laughs> think is huge, huge for, for this size room. It is. And it's great because, um, You've only got your bed here. There's nowhere else for it to, to point, but it will swivel a little bit. Remote control, so we can just lie in bed. I don't know, can you see there, Al, whether you can get access to maybe an HDMI port or something to be able to plug um, uh, a Chromecast or a, some other kind of device in there if you want to bring? No? No. On the other side, perhaps? No. No, I can't see. Okay, we might have a um, we might have a proper look yeah. when we can actually get round the back and maybe see if there is access to. However, in that little journey around the TV, I have to say that was pretty much an impromptu dust test. Not a speck, guys. <laughs> nothing. So that was not. That was uh, yeah. That's absolutely impromptu. There's nothing. It's absolutely clean. Um, same on this side, lots of room underneath if you want to I was going to say, let's have a look under the bed, see cases under the bed. 
Oh there yeah. We go. Nice and deep and we know it's spotless because they've already moved the beds <laughs> for us. So true. we know that they're absolutely spotless. Um, and uh, oh, let's test out the. This is look. This actually does feel lovely. It's kind of. So it's a nice is, cotton. It's yeah, nice, this is nice a quilt cotton. doona, isn't it? Not sheets. Yeah. It's a. It's a little doona. Yeah. Oh, that's like that memory foam. Look at that. Now, of course, there is a choice of pillows with the P and O as well. Yes. You get the you pillow concierge. We which we have out. asked for before, haven't we? we have. The one they couldn't get us was the, the um, big, I think big it was v, the big V yeah. one. Um, we might just ask for that again, just to see whether we can okay. get it. These are, as you can see, look, they go, and they, it's like, it's kind of like a memory phone. These are lovely, I do like those. Uh, all the switches behind you, so again, we don't have to move once we're yeah. in bed, we're moving. The only thing, of course, lacking in one of these little rooms is the little, um, is the little kind of poof, uh, not poof, the little sofa and table. Yeah. You don't get any of that. Well, you, here. you wouldn't in this size, you wouldn't be able to fit it in this no. size cabin. I just did, if I move back over here. So if you I'll want your goodies you, in here, you'd have to kind of just I don't know, sit on the end of the bed or sort of share that dressing table area. But for a short vacation, I think this is perfectly fine. It's lovely, it's airy, it doesn't feel stuffy and it's absolutely spotless. Um, yeah, so it really feels quite There's nice. no other um, adaptations in this room for limited mobility that I can no. see. Um, I actually would have expected some some flat handles around, some just to be able to help maybe getting in and out of bed perhaps, just by the side of the bed. Um, but I suppose if you've got it as a twin, that'll be overhanging the bed then, so, wouldn't it? So, yeah, I don't um, really know what else they could really give you. Yeah. Without, you know, the more you have, the more it's in the way. Well, in the a room, room this got. size, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I do have to just test this bed. That's true. Now, you there's do. not enough room for me to do the full flop, but I'm, should, I'm going to try a more elegant one. Okay. okay. Should I try an elegant one? Oh. Actually. Right. Night! <laughs> no, too much to do. Don't let me fall asleep. No, what actually. What time is it? I know. <laughs> oh, actually, that. Mm, It's actually that's actually quite nice. It's a it's probably not as hard as some of the ones we've had. I'm not a firm. Um, I do like a firm mattress. This is a little bit softer than that, but not saggy. So um, that's going to be really quite comfortable. I think I'm going to do very well in here. Thank you very much. Excellent. And that is the cabin. Yeah, that's nice. As I was investigating this shower to see whether or not the water would reach you if you were sitting down in this limited mobility shower cubicle, this is what I discovered. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put it on as normal. Well. That's the ordinary shower, as you would or ordinarily guess. It's a pretty hefty, um, what would you call it? it, it it's, flow. It's, it's a pretty hefty flow, I have to say, generally. But look at this, now this applies to all other showers as well not just the ones in this room so up here there's a little bit that twists and if you twist it round wow look at that you get the sun sat look how i don't know whether jet. you can see it you get a look. jet there and so you can kind of move it a little bit but look how hard that jet is now i did use that because i thought that was fantastic i loved it gave me a massage shower um, yeah, let's turn it off. Woo! <laughs> so, but, and the well, other is thing, there water on the lens there? I think so. Is it's all, all authentic. Don't wipe it off. It's actually gone all over me <laughs> and all over the camera. And Robert's just had to give that a little wipe. But you started putting your hand underneath it. As soon as you put your hand underneath it, it's going to go everywhere. But you could it? see how hard that was. That was lovely. I put that on, as I say, and I get a, I, I do a back massage with that on. Um, the other extra that you get in here that we hadn't noticed first time round was that the on-off is actually, it's got a, this handle. 
so um, rather than the, the than just the grip. No. Yeah. Um, but I will say the temperature is, you can change this temperature on these to go um, cooler, but they're all set to the hottest, which actually is, is a perfect temperature. It's beautifully warm, um, but not scalding. So they're all set so that you will not get scalded yeah. on these showers. Do not, always test it before you get in the shower because they may not all be the same. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what we found is this this was the perfect temperature and um, it could you could make it go down. So I think that's pretty much it. For now the, the question was though, which you said is, will that shower reach the seat in this particular cabin? So is it going to be just a trickle down the side over the uh, controls, or is that going to reach? So okay, let's do the uh, shower test. No, look at that. Look at the way that's bouncing. Well, bouncing. Maybe if you were sat on there, that would be hitting your head. Just about right, actually. Yeah. And turn it onto the uh, the other flow. You just want to do this so all the water trickles <laughs> down my arm. It goes all down my arm, all down my dress. <laughs> well, it is bouncing up there. Yeah. There. So if you were sat down here, flow. you would be. Uh, I, can't put, I can't put my hand in there. I can't reach from here. But if you were a little bit higher, your head would be higher than that. It's a if fantastic you here. But Yes, that would flow. be. Hit. Yeah, I'm not sure whether you can see this, but. That would be right in the right place if you were sat on that seat. Yes, yes. So you get your hair, your body, everything. You're not just going to yeah. get cold sitting down here yeah. um, with Excellent. a little bit of a trickle. Well, there you go. It is a useful seat after all, and it uh, looks like it would be very effective. Yeah, and the showers are okay. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, that's me finished in there then. Okay, that is our tour of our cabin inside cabin 11316 on deck 11. Um, and it is actually, it's a great location. It's in the center ish, just the center forward of the ship. Mm. Um, really good location. It's uh, limited mobility, it's not full wheelchair access, um, but there are certainly certainly some adaptations being made in the mainly in the bathroom area. If you've liked this video, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and hit the notification button if you want to see more of our videos. We will. Get ready for our white night. Yes, get ready for action. We've got to unpack, yes. Yes, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.